Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Bbot33. Um, I'm here to show you how to fix your Xbox Live connection if you're connecting to an Airport Extreme or Airport Base Station. Uh, for this video, you're going to need Airport Utility 5.6 or 5.6.1. Either one works. If you do not have either of those, you have the 6.0 um, series or above for the Airport Utility. I provided a link below that um, walks you through the steps. It's only like two steps to download 5.6.1, which is really easy. It took me less than two minutes. Um, before this, I, cut, I kept getting get disconnected from Xbox Live, and it started to really annoy me, so I finally figured it out, and I decided to make a YouTube video showing you guys. So here we go. From here, you're going to open um, Airport Utility. You are not going to update, because I'm on 5.6.1. I want to stay on 5.6.1. From here, you're going to go to Manual Setup. Press Continue. Here's my Brandon's Airport Extreme, all my info. From here, you're going to go to the Internet tab. You're going to go to DHCP. From right here, you're going to type in your Xbox Live IP address, which I'll show you how to get from your Xbox right now. Right. So, in your Xbox, you're going to want to go to Network Settings. There's my network I'm connected to, bot wireless. I'm going to click on that. Let's go configure network. Right there, you see IP address, the highlighted green, 10.0.1.2. Write that down on a piece of paper. After that, go over to the right. Right here, go over to the right. Go to advanced settings. On the bottom left, you see the MAC address. Write down that MAC address you see on your screen. It's probably going to be different than mine. After you have those two things written down, go back to your computer. Like I said before, from here, you're going to write down the IP address from your Xbox, so 10.0.1, and then right here, the last digit, mine's .2, yours is probably going to be different than mine, .300, .256, whatever it is, put it in there. Don't mess with any of this stuff, just leave all that um, down here. You're going to click on this little plus sign. And when you click on that little plus sign, you'll get this screen. So in the description, type in Xbox 360. And then reserve address by MAC address. And hit continue. From here, well, you just enter what I just told you to write down, your MAC address. Enter that in. Um, you don't need to put the columns. They already come in. Um, every two digits, they automatically fill in. So I'll write that in right here and then put down your IP address from your Xbox 10.0.1.2 just like we wrote down before and then click done after this you're going to go to NAT you're going to click enable default, default host at put your Xbox 360 IP address 10.0.1.2 like we just did before and then click the enable NAT port mapping protocol after that, you're going to need to, you can click on configure port mappings. From this screen, you're going to click the plus sign. And you'll get this screen right here. From here, you're going to type in all the numbers you see on my screen exactly how you see them. So the public UDP 3074, public TCP 88 comma space 3074. Private IP address, the IP, IP address of your Xbox 10.0.1.2, yours is going to be different. Private UDP 3074, private TCP 88 comma space 3074. After you do that, press done. Description Xbox 360. Press done. And you should be good to go. After you press done, you're going to update your router. It's going to reset, and all your settings should be what you just entered in, and your Xbox should be connected to a Xbox Live with an open NAT and the best connection, you'll never get disconnected again. Um, if you're still having a couple problems, which I don't think you should, but if you are, under wireless security, under airport, go to wireless security and make it WPA2 personal. Maybe that'll help a little bit clear things up. Um, I know some I know some people that had to do that and it helped them, but all the steps I told you before should work. After um, you update your router, 
test the Xbox Live connection again, and you should be ready to go. Um, this worked for me. I have the best connection I've ever had. I've never logged out of games and um, finds games so fast now, it's insane. So, I uh, hope this worked for you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, like this video if it worked, or comment if it worked. So, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully, this worked for you guys. Bye.